Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing our favorite watermelon varieties. So I know I did a video like this, I think last week or something, and I know you guys really liked that video, so I figured I would make one of our favorite watermelon varieties. And I am enjoying making all of these gardening videos for you guys. It is getting summertime around here, and I have a lot of video ideas coming up, so make sure you subscribe so then you can see all of those videos. And so let's get started. So the first one is Jubilee. So Jubilee watermelons get pretty big. This is um, this is an awesome watermelon for a big family because these watermelons get huge. Now we grew one a couple years ago, I think it was 2022, and it was 66 pounds. And that is a big watermelon. But ours grew 66 pounds. We also had one that was like 45 pounds or something. And so they are just big watermelons. They are awesome for um, just eating and you can also make them, they're great for smoothies and they are good for freezing and you can give the rinds to livestock and they are an awesome watermelon. So we definitely recommend the Jubilee. The next one is Sugar Baby. Now this one is perfect if you are like by yourself and you're just growing watermelons for yourself because these are about the size of a bowling ball so you won't be stuck with a ton of watermelon that you don't know what to do with. You can have a good sized watermelon that you can use. Sugar Baby watermelons are very, very sweet and they have an awesome sweet flavor. They have a lot of water in them. They're good if you are dehydrated in the summertime because they have a lot of watermelons in them. I said watermelons. Because they have a lot of water in them, they are awesome for that. And they just have a wonderful sweet flavor. So that was the Sugar Baby. The next one is one of my favorites, or this probably is my favorite. It's called the Strawberry Watermelon. Now, we grew this back in 2022, I think it was. We couldn't grow it last year because we didn't have the seeds. And I don't think we're going to grow it this year because I can only find these seeds at Baker Creek. And it's too late in the year to order in Baker Creek. It's already April, so it's too late, unfortunately. But um, I definitely, I wish we would have gotten seeds before April. But they are literally the sweetest watermelon. They have a dark rind on the outside of them. And on the inside, it is a bright red beautiful flesh and they are so sweet and they are amazing for making sorbet they're amazing for freezing and these actually have a lot of meat in them and it has less water in them so you can get some watermelons that have the tendency to have more water in them and then you can have some that have less water in them strawberry watermelons have less water in them so that is good if you want them for the meat and also to make sorbets so I hope this helped you guys figure out what kind of watermelon you want to grow this year. Let us know if you have any questions or comments and put them down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you all on the next adventure.